Hey everybody, it's Jake Mace, the vegan athlete, and this is video number two in my new series of things that I hear non-vegans say during conversation with me over and over and over and over again. It's like a broken record. For 15 years I've been vegan, I've heard pretty much a lot of the same arguments that non-vegans say over and over and over and over again, and they all think that they're the first ones to say it. And this is the number two comment I hear most commonly, but in recent days, it's been number one. And the comment is this. I'm talking with my vegan friends and they say something to the effect of, hey Jake, I read a study and I read an article that said, you know, plants feel pain too. So what are you gonna eat now? <laughs> I think this is so hilarious. I hear this comment over and over and over again. Hey Jake, you know, you're vegan because you wanna save the animals, but dude, plants feel pain too. Hey Jake, I know you want to save the animals, but you're killing and murdering plants. I hear this over and over and over again, and non-vegan people think it's hilarious to bring this up. If you're an adult human being living in the world today, and you don't think there's a difference between animals and plants, and let me tell you, you're an idiot. If you don't understand that a cow and a pig and a dog and a chicken and a cat and a fish and a hamster and a gerbil and whatever the animal is, is different than broccoli or apples or lettuce or spinach or lentils or rice, then you're a moron. You don't have the ability to make rational decisions and the system that educated you, your parents, and the educational system you grew up in failed you. And in addition to your argument just being dumb, you're also wrong because a lot of the foods that I eat that are plant-based do not have to die to feed me. Think about it, an apple tree, when I pick the apple off the tree and eat it, the tree lives on. A piece of broccoli, when I cut one of the broccoli florets off the plant, the plant continues to grow. Kale, when I eat kale leaves off the kale plant, I don't kill the whole plant, I take a few leaves off and the plant continues to grow. A lot of Buddhist monks out there who are truly not trying to kill anything to exist, they will not eat things like carrots and potatoes and root vegetables because they don't want to kill the whole plant. But leafy greens and fruits that come from trees and nuts that come from trees and even things like celery. You can harvest the celery, take the root, plant it again, and a whole new celery plant will grow. You can easily do a vegan diet and eat plants that you can harvest the food off of and they will continue to grow and produce more food and live a whole fruitful amazing life. I'm sorry but you cannot take a leg off a cow, you can't take the butt muscle off of a pig, and you can't take chicken wings off a chicken, they won't grow those back. So eating food from animal sources is cruel, painful, and it creates a culture of fear in them and it tortures them, and it creates holocaust-like conditions for the animals. So if you guys are a non-vegan and you're talking with me, please do not tell me the article you just read that shows that plants feel pain just like animals because I hope as an adult you have learned that animals are different than plants. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys like videos like this, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And down below in the comments, tell me if you've heard this argument from your non-vegan friends before and tell me other things you've heard non-vegans say over and over and over again and I might do a video about it. Go vegan and grow your food at home and I'll see you guys back here for the next video. Hey everybody, it's Jake Mace, the vegan athlete. And today is November the 25th. It's my birthday today and it's also the day before Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving every year is an interesting holiday for me because in America, Thanksgiving's always surrounded by two key things. Number one, family. And number two, a feast. And you guys know that I'm the vegan athlete. And so Thanksgiving is always a weird time of the year for me because I'm the only vegan person in my family, either on my wife's side or on